Hey everyone, Kami here from Motion VFX. I wanted to quickly share a cool effect that can take your music videos to the next level. It lets you place different elements of your footage into 3D floating frames, adding an extra layer of depth and creativity in a super simple way. So let's get started. I've got this smooth performance shot of the camera gliding for a corridor. To start, I'm gonna add M Tracker 3D. Gonna add it to my clip and track it. Once it's tracked, I'll add a drop zone from M Tracker 3D expansion catalog. Just gonna stretch it out to the end of the shot. Let's switch off the animation in and out, and let's copy the track and paste it into the drop zone. Now that's done, and as we can see, the drop zone follows the camera movement and we can see it passes it by in a cool way. Now I'm going to go into the parameters and adjust the frame. Let's put it down here. And again, we see that the camera is gliding next to this frame. Now let's pick a shot. You can pick any shot. I'm gonna use a different one here just to mix it up a little bit. I wanted to focus on something else. Now let's adjust it a little bit more. I'm gonna try focusing on this other dancer rather than the performer. So we can see now that the shot is focused on something different. Let's adjust it a little bit more and great. Now let's copy the shot a couple times. Let's place it in different spots. And also I'm gonna replace these shots with something else. I'm gonna copy the top one. Let's have the one on the right kind of focus on their legs or their feet right, as they're dancing. Now to add a little bit more realism, I'm gonna add a blur onto my main shot. I'm gonna adjust it to sort of fit the focal length here. And of course, I'm gonna keyframe that as it's passing the frames. So it's gonna change into focus right about here. As it's passing the frames, it's also revealing the main shot. Let's watch it again. We're kind of watching the performance in the frames and then focusing into our main shot. That looks really cool. But let's add a little bit more realism to it. So for that, I'm gonna compound clip these. I wanna add a little bit of blur to these frames. Each one of these drop zone frames got their own blurring effects in the parameters, but I just want to do it a little bit here, so I'm just using this other method. And now I'm going to use the focus blur. Adjust the settings, you guys can do it however you think it's right. I'm just going to add a little bit to each one of them. Adjust it so the edges are nicely out of focus and not as crisp, basically. And now we can see it looks much smoother. It looks like the frames are part of the image, if you know what I mean. That looks really cool. You might have a simple tracking shot in your music video like that, but you want to add a little bit of extra element to it. These frames work pretty good to showcase different alternative shots you might have, or just simply to make it look cooler. Now, all of this so far was achieved with tools inside of Cine Studio, but Design Studio offers another option for this effect. If you have a static shot, you can create your own desired camera movement. Let me show you. For example, I got my effect already done on this shot, but I don't have the camera movement. We're gonna go into M extension, and I'm gonna type in camera movement. This one here is one I really like, so I'm gonna add it on top of my main shot. I'm gonna switch off the animation that's already built in. And I'm also gonna copy that, and I'm gonna put it into my compound clip with the frames. Let's put it in here, and let's start keyframing that. So I want the frames to come out out of the shot. So I'm gonna keyframe the movement. As you can see, the camera preset is already blurring them out nicely. But you can also adjust that inside of the parameters, how much you want the frames to be out of focus, and when do they come into the focus. That looks really cool. But now, in my main project, I want the camera to be moving from the girl's eyes in a close-up out to a wide shot, revealing the frames. So I'm doing the same thing, but the opposite way. 
And now we got this really cool camera movement. So in many cases, you're not bound to the footage that you shoot. You can add the camera movement using Design Studio. All you gotta remember is that it's gonna work better, look better if you got your footage in 4K or 6K. The higher the resolution, the better, because you're not gonna lose the quality if you create this fake kind of camera movement. And that's it. There are so many possibilities with this technique and it's always fun to experiment. You can really give something extra to your music videos. Give it a try and let us know what you come up with. Follow Motion VFX on social media for more tutorials like this.